Welcome to Rocks Talks. Good to see you all this morning. I have to tell you, I've got like the sleepy eyes going on, all the things. I'm almost wondering if I took up my makeup well enough last night. Um, yesterday was quite the day. How was your day? Was that Wednesday? I don't even know. I am not in a routine yet, having moved. I'm not in that regular routine. We just finished fully moving this past weekend, and right now my uh, stepdaughter is visiting us, and I took the day off yesterday. Did no work. In fact, after, I, I don't consider you work, so we did the podcast and then went off to the Princess Fairmont, which if you've never been to a spa and you just want to like just pop the bottle, <laughs> just like rip the Band-Aid off and go amazing, go like, ugh, I highly recommend the Princess Fairmont. It's, a call, def- it's technically called the Well and Being Spa or the Sicily Spa. There's two spas there. Oh, we were celebrating... Um, my stepdaughter's graduation. She graduated graduated from college um, in December, and what she wanted more than anything was to go to the princess. So we went, and she and I spent the day together. It was really so relaxing. Um, uh, when you go on a Wednesday, just a little tidbit in January, you get there and it's like empty. It filled up later in the day, but that in the morning, she and I were the first people to hit like the cold plunge and the steam room and the elation room and the hot tub and the sauna and all those things we did we did all those things and man y'all when you go from a nice steamy mm, i love a steam room to a cold plunge it was really really cold oh my goodness but i loved every minute of it like i it was and i counted every minute of it i mean it was so cold i went into the cold plunge twice did that round twice what I love about the cold plunge is it wakes you up. It's renew rejuvenation and renewal. And I know cold plunges are getting more and more popular. I'd love to have a cold plunge at my place. So if somebody wants to, like, I will do the dance and the commercials for you and all the things. <laughs> Bring a cold plunge to my house. Um, there's something therapeutic and there's something so meaningful beyond all the benefits for your body, right, and the technical things. When you think about starting a new year, I starting a new era, and you like get in that cold plunge, and your body is just, <sighs> or you go to a spa in general. Like I felt like that was a wonderful way to start the year. I got a, a massage or a facial, hydrofacial. It was wonderful. Uh, my face needed it. And if you ever get a hydrofacial, they ask you, okay, do you want us to show you the canister with your gunk from your face at the end? I'm like, yes, please, yes. <laughs> Ooh, let's just say it was time. But that's okay. Like, I've just shed all that other stuff off, and here I am. So that was wonderful. We were sitting there, and I turned around, and I said, you know what's so interesting? What's interesting is we, our body needs this. It is proven that our body needs things like steam, um, like a sauna. Even they say, like, if you, I think it's like a few minutes. I am not a doctor. But I think it's like if you, they, they've found that if you spend, I want to say 15 minutes a day in, like, a steam or a sauna, it's supposed to help your brain, and then even supposed to help with Alzheimer's so you've got the technical medical things you've got the like the purging and the letting the releasing of toxins your bo- our bodies need all these things and yet we see these as special occasions we see these as things only for a certain class of people and we instead decide to grind all the time truly we decide to grind all the time when what our body really needs to do is to rejuvenate, to relax, to get massages. All those things that we're like, oh, that's a luxury. No, that's actually the essentials that we, for some reason, have gotten it all twisted. And we think work work harder, work more, relax less. And the truth of the matter is if we relaxed more, we'd be able to be more productive. And not only that, but our health would be so much better. Uh, listen, I'm not saying... You must put this in your budget, but I'm saying if you can find some way to rejuvenate, we got to do it. Uh, If you're like me, we're only getting older. Maybe you're not like me and you're not getting older, but if you're like me, you're only getting older. And if you want to live more comfortably, if you want to, in a sense of like just your body feeling okay, if you want your body to keep going, we've got to take care of it. It's just wild that we don't. We don't value that. We don't value sleep. We don't value the things we need to rejuvenate this human body that's like an amazing computer or whatever you want to call it. Just a thought. Just a thought there. Um, 
So it was a very good day. And then I hadn't been to the princess since my, my batch weekend. So it had been about six months and two weeks-ish, two, three weeks, almost seven months. And now that I live here, I, me thinks I need to go back more often. <laughs> We're just going to have to figure that out. I don't, listen, I don't have to have the details. I just need to just put out there what's going to happen, and it'll work out. It will. It was an interesting time um, yesterday because, you know, when you have removed yourself from a situation because maybe you take the day off or you're somewhere and but the world is happening around you like you're not looking at news I wasn't looking at Instagram I wasn't looking at anything work-wise and yet I like little things were trying to filter in and I was like okay all right I see you I don't know everything I'll worry about it today and worry is funny but I think what was really good about it is I just said I'm going to just enjoy the day and just do those things. So after that, we came um, um, home, and then my family had a welcome back to Arizona party for for us, which was so sweet. Uh, so we went to Vincent's on Camelback. If you've never been there, it's technically French cuisine, which I think is special because I feel like we're getting ready for the Olympics that happened in Paris. <laughs> so I should have said, I'm like, oh, I know what you chose this place. My dad's like, that's not why I chose this place. Anyhow. Um, the food was delicious, and we had a really good time just catching up. Um, I, I, I think there is a balance, and I don't know how to reach it yet. Of, I've lived, technically, I've lived away from Arizona and home since I was seventeen. I'm forty four. It's been a while. Yes, I come back for things, but I haven't lived here, so I'm really exploring and learning about my state, my town all over again there's all this dynamic of not of my family has their lives right how you interject that and you see them and get the right balance I don't know yet I'm probably gonna trip over it I know I already have but we'll figure it out but it was really fun to see them um and just to to talk and and eat some really delicious food at a beef tenderloin if there's a tenderloin there it's and it's beef it's mine um, and you know, good times. Definitely recommend it. You should look it up. Vincent's on Camelback. It's like old school, yummy, yummy. And today, this morning, I'm up a little earlier. My eyes are a little more awake now because my dad is getting an award. So he is getting a special award today. Um, and so we're going to a, a, I almost said a luncheon, but it's a breakfast. Nice and early. It starts at 7 a.m. where he'll get his award. So that is why I'm like, you know what? I'm doing this now. We're going to talk now. Uh, thank you so much for your feedback on the show. More and more of you are saying, hey, I watched it. Hey, I'm listening. I'm enjoying it. I really, really appreciate that. We're going. We're going to go. We're going to talk wh about what we're going to talk about. And that is going to change every day. And I hope that whatever I talk about sparks. Well, not I don't hope. I know that whatever I talk about, even if you think it's like you're talking about the food of Vincent's, it's going to spark you in some way and ignite you to either do do something about it in your own life. Like it's like you're gonna be like, ah, oh, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna empower you to do that. Or you might be like, I am not gonna do that. Either way, you're gonna get something out of it. So I appreciate that. And I appreciate those of you who are commenting um or reaching out to me saying I'm listening. So appreciate that. That helps me too. If a tree falls in the forest and no one's there, did anyone hear it? Did it actually fall? Was that what how does that go? Anyhow, um I've I've kind of I'm not gonna lie, I've grappled with that. I'm like, okay. I'm going to put something out and I'll go on YouTube. It's like, you had no views. I'm like, okay, nobody listened to me today. Okay, awesome. <laughs> so what? I'm still here. Uh, because I know it matters and I know that what I have to say is going to make a difference. And I also know that it's, you got to start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. And I'm starting here. And I'm excited if you're here with me on this journey right now or if you're binging it later on, you're like, oh my gosh, look at where she is now and where she was before. I am less concerned about the time it takes to do things and more concerned about doing things that matter. Now, that's not easy because you always have these, like you have this goal, you have this thing you want to build, you want to bet on yourself, right? And you think to yourself, great, but I have bills. Great, but I have this and that. And I, these things need to happen as well too. And I get that. And I am trying for once to not get distracted by the thing that's like here's guaranteed 
money, support, whatever, and just come from my heart and give you what I think you need. I mean, just say what I need to say. And honestly, days to, most days I'm like, I come on, I'm like, I might talk about this or this. But lately I'm just like, I'm just going to start talking. We'll see where it goes. So thank you so much. With that, I'm going to let you go. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. I'll tell you how the, uh, the breakfast goes. I hope it goes so well. He has a speech. Rock it, Dad. You got this. And I will see you tomorrow, which is Friday already. Whoa. Um, this week has flown by, but it's been great with you. So I encourage you to go be great today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.